Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pi Revolution. So on this PyQt4 tutorial we're going to cover layouts. So on our previous tutorials as you have as you have seen the buttons on the widgets and windows were all over the place and you actually have to use the move function which is absolute positioning which I'll go into in a bit. We used absolute positioning to tell the absolute coordinates of our elements on the widget. So PyQt4 actually has an ingenious built-in layout management system and that's what we're going to cover. So without a layout management, imagine your GUI being your room and if you don't have a clean organized layout, it'll look as messy as this. So well, I'm sure some of you would love it. I know my best friend loves a really messy room. Hey, <laughs> I'm sure he's watching this right now. Now a good layout management is very useful. So let's first go over absolute positioning. And here's our code. So this is a GUI we made on our first lesson. And it is basically a GUI with a button. Uh, the button doesn't do anything. I'm just showing this for reference. Now we can look at the code and the absolute positioning is 150, 100. And that's the coordinate. Now, one problem with absolute positioning, which I'll demonstrate right now. Let me sh make the GUI smaller. Ah, now, as you can see here, the button coordinate doesn't change at all. It just stays the same, even though we resize the GUI. Now, that's not a desirable thing we want. We want the elements on the widget to adjust with the size and for that we're going to cover another type of layout and yeah if you're changing your layout and it doesn't change well it looks ugly and this is how your users will react so we're going to go over layout classes so there are two basic layout classes we're going to cover in this tutorial one is box layout box layout is basically stacking your elements it can either be horizontal or vertical and i'll go more into that in a bit and the second type is grid layout which basically um, you're dividing the spaces on your window into rows and columns and i'll also go over that so first i was box layout so over here is what our box layout will look like so we have if we have a vertical layout the buttons or any other object will be stacked vertically and a horizontal layout they'll be horizontal it's very straightforward let me just show you how to code it right now so first with the horizontal layout and let me first run the code so you can take a look and this is a horizontal layout if i change as you can see the button adjusts its y coordinate but if I change this, the X coordinate stays the same. So let me just keep, keep this on the side so you can visualize it. And at the same time, let me look at the code. So as you can see, uh, we have the H box, which is our layout. And that's equal to Qt GUI H box layout. And we add a stretch of one. A stretch of one means that the ratio of the change in the element coordinate to the ratio of the change in the size of the window is going to have a one-to-one -one ratio so one-to-one -one stretch and we create our button and button one button two exactly how we did and we did the size hint so it has the appropriate size according to the name of the button and we add the widgets to our h box so what basically happens is it's going to stack from the left so we add a widget, so this button comes. Then we add another widget, button two, this button goes. So you add a button three, it'll be placed here and it'll, and it'll go on forever on this particular um, H box. And after we're done with our horizontal box layout, we set the layout to our main self widget. And that's basically what we have over here, a horizontal box layout. If you can make it full screen and okay. For some reason yeah okay horizontal box layout and next we have the exact same thing with a vertical box layout vertical box let's just take a look 
we can so it doesn't adjust in the y coordinate but it's going to adjust in the x coordinate and that's just a basic difference between horizontal and vertical you just flip the two and it's a bit of getting used to to remember but you'll get used to it in a bit and as you can see here the codes are exactly the same vbox is equal to qt qv box layout instead of qh box layout the same stretch and then just as uh, hbox layout has from left to right the uh, vbox layout has from top to bottom so first button one button two under this button three button four and it'll keep on going forever and then we set our la vbox layout um, now that you know about hbox and vbox let's take it a step further um, so one thing i would recommend everyone is when you want to design a gui draw it out first when you're actually coding it's extremely complicated because you have numbers all over the place so when you have it written down you actually know which object will be inside which object so over here we have uh two vertical box layouts each with a with two buttons so button one button two on vbox one on vbox two is button three button four and both the vboxes is in this horizontal box layout and let's run this code and here you go you have your vbox1 vbox2 and this entire thing is the horizontal box layout and i guess it's not spreading out as much because our vertical box layout are kind of tightly arranged together and it's on the top bottom right um we'll get a much prettier visualization when we actually have a grid layout which i'll cover in a bit but first of all let's look at the code so vbox1 so here's the code for vbox1 exact same thing vbox1 is equal to qt gui vbox layout and then we have the two buttons um vbox2 exact same th same thing only button three and button four and then we have your horizontal box layout uh one thing you should notice in the horizontal box layout or when you put another layout inside a layout instead of a widget for example you have vbox2 and you're putting in button three you do add widget when you're adding a widget when you're adding a layout uh, the add widget function fails you have to use add layout so remember add widget when you're adding a widget object and add layout when you're adding a layout object like your vbox1 and vbox2 into hbox once you have your hbox with a two vbox inside you set the set the layout to your main self widget and this will be your resulting combo layout um okay and next off we have our final layout management which is the grid layout a grid layout is very straightforward so imagine you, a grid where you draw plots and each of this point is a coordinate so it has a coordinate so you have your x coordinate y coordinate and the reason you can do that is because imagine this entire rectangle is your widget what the grid layout will do is break up your um, space on the window into rows and columns and you actually have to put the coordinate of the row and column when you're making the window so um, the thing we made right over here with the v box and h box i'll do the exact same thing but one two three and four but in a grid layout so let me just run the code first and here you go this is a much prettier um, layout as you can see if i change in the x y it doesn't matter it adjusts accordingly because the four by four grid uh, sorry the two by two grid is broken up equivalently across the space in the window and let me get this gui out and look at the code at the same time so first of all your grid is equal to your qt gui dot q grid layout and the beginning we set the grid layout to our self widget because we don't need to do anything more we are done with the widget i mean we're done with the grid and next off we just keep on adding things on the grid so we have button one so button one and we put the coordinate zero zero so uh as you remember python starts counting from a zero so x coordinate zero y coordinate zero um button two um y coordinate one and so it goes from um, the row and the column 
and it starts co counting from the one. So row one, so row zero, column zero for button one, row one, column zero for button two, row zero, column one for button three, and column one and row one for button four. And that gives you your two by two grid layout. You can keep on adding more buttons and the grid will dynamically adjust to change it from a two by two to a four by four to a hundred by hundred, basically whatever you want with your grid layout. Okay, so that's basically our grid layout and that's it with the tutorial. Now with your layout management system, you have a very pretty widget. Next chapter, uh, we are going to cover canvases and matplotlib, which is how you can draw matplotlib plots on your GUI. Till then, have fun.